In this video, you will learn the basics of Fusion 360 by following the steps below to create a simple 3D model of the cup base for the F1 in Schools trophy. After completing this step, you'll learn more advanced Fusion 360 skills and create an impressive cup using T-spines. After starting new design in Fusion 360, select Sketch, Rectangle, Center Rectangle tool from the drop-down menu to start sketching. Select the bottom plane to base the sketch on. Move your cursor to the center of the axis and click when it becomes highlighted to place the center point of the rectangle. Click again when the rectangle reaches a size of roughly 100 mm by 110 mm. Click OK. Use the Sketch Dimension tool to set size of the rectangle. Click Stop Sketch. From the Create drop down menu, select Extrude. Hover the pointer over a button to see the tooltip. Select the sketch and drag the arrow to 25 mm, otherwise you can type the value in the dialog box. Click OK. Right click in any empty area of the canvas and select Appearance from the marking menu. Expand the wood group and drag the material you'd like onto the box in the graphics area. In the Modify drop down menu, choose the chamfered command. Drag the arrow button to or type the value 15 millimeters. This command is used to cut the corners and the edges. Click OK. Select the Sketch, Rectangle, Center Rectangle tool from the drop-down menu. Select the chamfer face as a base for the sketch. Move your cursor to the center of the face and click when it shows a small icon in the center point of the rectangle. Click again when the rectangle reaches a size you like. Now it's again time to be more specific. Choose the Sketch Dimension command from the Sketch drop-down menu. Add a dimension of 5 by 3 mm as shown by selecting the border edge of the chamfer face and the respective line of the rectangle. Click Stop Sketch. From the Create drop down menu, select Extrude. Select the sketch and drag the arrow to 3 mm. Alternatively, type the value in the dialog box. Make sure the New Body option is selected. Click OK. Right click in any empty area of the canvas and select Appearance from the marking menu. Expand the metal group and drag the gold material to the plate in the graphics area to assign it. Select the decal command from the insert drop down menu. Choose the top face of the plate and then the supplied Autodesk logo as an input for the command. Place and scale the logo symmetrically using the triad indicator as shown. Select the Sketch command from the toolbar to create a new sketch. Click and hold the left mouse button on the icon of the left work plane to select it behind the face. Select the Two Point Rectangle command from the Sketch drop down menu and draw it as shown. Select the Fillet command from the Sketch drop-down to complete the sketch. Click Stop Sketch. Select the Revolve command from the Create drop-down menu. Select the sketch and select Vertical Axis as Input, as shown. 
The command will rotate the sketch profile around the axis. Make sure that Joint option is selected. Click OK. To improve the balance of the base, we need to move the rear face. Use the Shift key and hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Click Modify, press Pull, and drag the back of the base until you feel it looks good, or type the exact dimension. Make sure that New Offset option is selected. Click OK. Click Modify, Fill it. Select the two rear edges as input and then drag the arrow or type the value for the cylindrical element. Save your design by clicking the Save icon on the upper left. Enter a name like Trophy in the dialog box and select which Autodesk 360 project you want to save your design to.